We are learning more about the people involved in a deadly shootout that left a teen and innocent bystander dead. San Antonio police say four people are facing capital murder charges. The shooting happened in broad daylight yesterday afternoon near Blanco and West Mariposa. And as Katrina Weber reports, people in that area especially shaken by the death of a man who was inside his own home at the time. San Antonio police blocked off the area where bullets flew around 2.30 yesterday afternoon. They were trying to sort out victims from suspects here near Blanco and West Mariposa. What they knew right away was that three people had been shot, two of them dead. One has been identified as 14-year-old Christopher James Mejia. The other was 66-year-old Enrique Bocanegra inside his home watching TV at the time. He was a nice guy. He was out, out there cutting his yard or just helping out everyone. And we know, we, he knows us. He was, we're, we're babies. Okay, Flores, who lives next door, is still trying to make sense of it today. Police say someone with a gun had walked up to an SUV at a nearby gas station, then got into a shootout with someone in that vehicle. Police say Mejia, the 14-year-old who also was killed, was with that group. A 17-year-old with them was shot and wounded. It was crazy. I don't know why kids do that now. You know, I don't know why. They won't think of it. Flora says Boca Negra's home had been hit by gunfire once before. Sadly, this time, the damage can't be undone. The news about Boca Negra's death has not only affected those who knew him, but also complete strangers. Some of them have left candles in his memory. To show their he was love, care. Police say everyone who was in the SUV will face capital murder charges. That includes 21-year-old Oscar Martinez III, the 17-year-old who was shot, and two other juveniles. They're still looking for one other person. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.